Today we're doing chicken and pilau, so chicken and rice. So for that you need two chickens, two tablespoon garlic, two tablespoon ginger, seven bay leaves, one and a half cinnamon sticks, three tablespoon ghee or clarified butter, three tablespoons of tomato paste, four tablespoons of yogurt, lemon juice, one tablespoon, ten green chilies, twenty cardamoms, fifteen cloves, thirty-two black peppers, saffron, one pinch, three tablespoons full of cream powder, full cream powder, milk powder, four tablespoons of cream fresh, four teaspoons of salt and two cups of oil. And here we have the chicken which has been marinating in uh, two teaspoons of salt water for half an hour or so and our rice which is about one kilogram and there's our two chickens. First we're gonna have to marinate the chicken again so for that we need one tablespoon of ginger tablespoon of, sorry that was garlic, this is ginger Tablespoons of yogurt and one teaspoon of salt. and our lemon juice And it just stays like that for half an hour. Okay, so now we're going to fry up the chicken. Before cooking it any further, we have to fry it. So, let's go on. I'm just gonna wait for it to heat up for the next uh, two three minutes. So, okay, so it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna start adding the chicken. Add that later. I'm just gonna fry it both sides well before cooking. 
So we'll turn these over in about maybe four minutes or two minutes. About three minutes. And then get the other side done. So it's been about seven minutes and I'm gonna turn them over now. Now it's been another five minutes and so I'm cooking in the roll part and the roast cream part. So after you're done cooking, keep all the oil because uh, you need to use that oil for cooking the rice and the chicken afterwards because it's the delicious oil from it. Pour one cup of the oil from that back into this and now we're going to add the onions. and the salt. Okay, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so some of the onion has started browning and this is when we add the rest of the ingredients. Yeah, we're gonna let this fry up for a little while. It's been about 30 seconds of the spices frying in there. We're gonna add the juices left over from the marinade, marinating process back into this, because we're gonna add some powder spices so they don't burn. As well as the tomato paste. I'm going to cook this up for a little while. Probably just two minutes. So it's been about four minutes and everything is finished roasting up in the oil. All the spices and everything. So now we're going to add the yogurt. And two teaspoons of sugar, or all of it, and half a cup of water. And we'll let this come to a boil before adding our chicken.
turning up the heat. I'm just going to check the salt. Yep, I think it's good. So, now we're going to add the chicken. Now we can stir this up. Okay, so it's been about another 4 minutes of stirring and cooking this. And uh, now we're going to add the fresh cream. Okay, so now we're going to add a bit of this. And the green chilies. And cook this for another 5 minutes or so. 5-10 minutes and then it's done. This is called chicken roast. This is how we do it. Uh, this, is a, this is a food on its own. You can eat it as is. But we're going to make more of pulao. So we're going to add this into the rice in a little while. And uh, this is done, pretty much. This just needs another 5 minutes in the heat, as it is, and it's done. Not even 5 minutes, 2 minutes. Before making the rice part, we're going to heat up 2 liters of water, or thereabouts, for the 1 kilo of rice. And we're going to bring this to a boil and put it off to the side as preparation. And this is uh, dried onions, chopped dried onions, just barely heated up in oil until the color just barely changes. This is for the finishing. It is also optional. Now we're going to add our spices.
which is about two bay leaves and half a stick of cinnamon and are about seven cardamoms, six cardamoms. Nice. Now we're going to add the rice. So this is already washed rice, you have to wash it. It's a special type of rice, it's small grain, you can find it at uh, Oriental or Eastern Indian stores. There's two types. There's uh, the sugar green type, and then there's the Kaligia, which is the black sheep, like, plain one. They're both identical, so you have to identify them properly. This one, we're doing Palau, so we're just doing the Kaligia type. But for biryani, you have to have the sugar, the brown sugar type of rice for that. Now we just fry it in the heat for a little while under uh, rigorous stirring, making sure none of it sticks to the bottom. I'm going to add some of the remaining oil from the fried chicken onto here. And we're going to do this until the rice kind of turns a little white, like uh, it looks like it's a little bit popped, and uh, it's, it just runs right off the spoon. So all the grains would fall off when it's done, off of the spatula. And we're going to add our salt right now. It's about two teaspoons. At this point you need rigorous stirring. So it's about done, it's been about 8 minutes of rigorous stirring. Okay, so now we're going to add the water because uh, the rice part is done. I'm going to turn the heat back up and the oven is heating at 355 right now because it'll have to go into the oven later. It's been about three minutes and it looks like this. From here we're going to like, cover it up for about five minutes. It's been about five minutes. Now it looks like this. We're going to add the milk. 
and the saffron. leave it there for another five minutes okay so now it's been another five minutes it's done, done. and now okay, now it's done And now the other thing we're going to do is we have half a cup of hot milk here. We're going to put the ghee and the full cream milk powder into the milk. That's what it looks like. This is for the finishing at the end. You have to put this on top of the blah, the rice. For this part, we're going to add one inch of rice at the bottom. In the new pot. And then some chicken. and then some of the fried up onions. And now more rice. And some fried onion. And then chicken again. And then the remainder of the bread is and the rice, the fried onions and the rice. And 
leaving some fried onion for the last part where it goes on top of the rice. Okay, so now the last bit of the rice goes on. And now the milk, the whole cream milk solid powder and the ghee that goes in. into the oven, which is heating at 355. For 10 minutes, and then we're gonna take it out and check it again. So now it's been five, 10 minutes and we've taken it out of the oven. That's what it looks like.